Hello guys, and today we are editing the final trailer for Unicorn King, the charity project um, and I'm going to do it from scratch, just getting the assortment of the actual track I'm not going to do any of the shots because that will take too long but more of just the assortment of the tracks and then making it more cinematic So, first, first showing you that that is it, my version of it done already but X, take away all of it and let us start from scratch now just this camera and cut all this part out. Okay. Okay. Great. Good. Screen record my back. Do, 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 do. So obviously, um, you will see the screen here. See me in the corner. So see what I'm doing on the screen while I'm narrating what's going on at the screen. And screen recording. And record. Okay. If you hear any noises, just to have some rats in my room right now. Don't, don't mind. I'll cut that out. I'll cool. cut that out. Come on, man. I'm, I'm coming out. You can stay and just be quiet. No, I, I can't. I need to take the bin out. Then I'll be quiet. Yeah. If I was moving upstairs, my dad's going to be pinched. Close the door, mind you. Damn it, you're, you're in the shop. I'm not. You are. Oh, gosh. Jesus Christ, look, it's just... It's okay, so, first of all, just getting the actual tracks you want to use. So today, what we're going to use is one of my favourite um, groups, rap groups, is Run The Jewels. Their song called Early. Um, and usually in trailers, one thing to know, is, especially when there's lyrics, a lot of lyrics, as most songs do, um, you either, A, my rule is this, either A, the track has to include the lyrics that are punchy and then cut it out, or if not, just have the instrumental, maybe just have the hook. I mean, because you don't want to just have like lyrics, 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 because the idea is you're going to have some dialogue from your actual project. So whether it's a film or a TV show, you're going to have your character saying things during the trailer. So you don't want that to be clashing with the lyrics as well. So because then, you know, if it's lyrics, make sure it's timed well, where like it kind of like someone saying something, then cut, then you hear like a cool lyric. And it has to be like a punchy lyric that's in beat. Um, not just like a random like bar, like, yeah, the cat went down the stairs and then he didn't get, yeah, I can't. I used to rap when I was in secondary school, but those those days are gone. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Let me change it. Okay. Of course, the angle's gonna be a bit weird for you over here, but I'll be I'll be in the corner in a weird way. But yeah, still looking at you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. So this is a bit of the song. See here. track but the main part we want is this so that's the part we really want um as like the main hook because this is the final trailer minute one a minute and 15 seconds very very cut less is more kind of approach with this one um because they've already had a trailer already so it's more of like final trailer just hit your best stuff and make them want to rewatch as much as possible. And that hook is absolutely beautiful. So we'll go with that one. So first, I have the instrumental version and the actual track of the song. So the instrumental was just... So just the beat itself, which is important as well. Just having the beat so you have that versatility where it's like a just track that yeah, I can have the lyrics if I want, but I could also patch it in so it makes it, makes it seem that, oh, it's, it's uh, they can mix in the lyrics and just the beat itself. And that's the some by some trailers you watch, they have like lyrics, but then like a custom or beat. They have the instrumental and the actual song and they just combine the parts that they want and suit their, their, their vision of the trailer best. So first what we're gonna do is I wanna start off with just the beat. in yeah you come in you're not on camera before he comes in what we're gonna do is clip that so it's just a beat here so then we have him here um, and then what we're gonna do is have a little comedic bit right there at the beginning and then cut to the Yeah, that mm, that mm, little bit sounds, but yeah. Mm. And then not 
take that. So right now, this is what it looks like altogether. Rafa doesn't sync as well, but we'll get to that point. Now it's just getting, just get the actual players on the board. That's the things you need, just like when you write a script. Just get the assortment and assembly done, or the finesse to make it smooth and all sync like it's one track. That comes later in time. So we have the assortment and like I said we need to make this a minute and five seconds like just over a minute basically so I'm not gonna let this run too long so here um, be something there that's a spoiler I can't show you that yeah so we have it about 30 of well, 20 30 40 seconds already which uh yeah it's a cue that now we've got come for the cell basically so this trade is more just gonna be like hit 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 right. Now, there's a certain part in that chorus where it kind of like goes, you know, at the end of the song where the chorus is repeated for the last time, but there's more effects and more of craziness going on. So I'll play that part for you now in the song. to our main composition here. So the first or second one. Change the color so I know which is the insert. And that's the most of our trailer, the track right there. Um, took a four minute song and make it down to about a minute and 15 seconds just what we need that's just the rough part just to get everything on the board that we need the actual like parts of the song we want and then the last bit for when after the title card comes out saying Unicorn King Let's 
fit this part in. There we go. Yeah, so I want that part in there, so... Place it in here. Start off with the little thing again. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna smooth that about, but basically that's so like high, high, crescendo, 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 and then after the title card, Ingo King, and peacefully. Okay. So, yeah, that clock's in just about a minute. Perfect. So now we're gonna work on the drum. Particular, mm. so it comes straight on the hip. Now, still not on the bell. There we go. Look, you can hear just right on the bank. All right, a bit closer. I'm going to show you what the song was going to be for this. It was much longer, and I'll kind of show you, uh, at least until the next part, what we're going to do here. Yeah, it's going to be Run the Jewels again. I, I'm on a real Run the Jewels vibe right now. Run the Jewels, the beats are just incredible. They're definitely used for something for peanut butter cards or go have to, um, have to, have to. But yeah, so these little things here, right at the bottom. So this is the main track here, right? And these little things are our color, so you guys can see it easier. Um, these things. So let's make them, um, uh, let's go yellow, so easy to see. So all those things, those are what we call hits booms and rises and washes so basically that's what you hear in trailers um but you they're distinguished so well the idea is that you, you hear them but they sound a part of the song so even here that was just a hit yeah if i take it away now that's what it sounds like and now if i take away the hit mute it this is what so this is what the song sounds like with the hit That's what a song sounds like without the hit. Go that again. Without the hit. With the hit. Yeah, that bang. That bang's there. 
So if I place in the hip, no hip. Perfect. So usually the hits kind of sound something like this on their own. So if I just play nothing but the hits, so. All those kind of effects. And the idea is um, that's to be extinguished so well that you kind of don't notice them and make it through the song. So, yeah. So timing is is biblical. It has biblical importance here. Because um, they think it's like, what's that boom, boom, boom going on? But yeah, that's why when you hear like, do, 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 the trailers, the hits, booms, washes, and risers. Risers are basically the things that, this is all that Maverick Academy stuff. Um, this is all for the stuff that I'm doing with the uh, filmmaking program that I'm doing in the year. Um, in this video, even this little tutorial is kind of like a tease of that. This is not what it's going to be like. It's much more, well, much more professional, much more sleek. I have a really cool interface we're going to do with it. Um, but basically, this is one of the parts we're going to be learning trailer editing. Um, so, going into that. If I take away. So, I bring in. If I delete. One of the jewels called the Trickatron. Great song, but don't need it for right now. That is a spoiler shot. Um, for one of the episodes is going to go in the trailer. Place in my main track so I know exactly it's about 1 minute 30. Yeah? Okay. If I drag it fully to the beginning. Yeah. 1 minute 30. That's cool. As long as we're like no more than one minute thirty, cool. Just like it's a mostly the minute same as with a minute, like it's within a minute and something. No, no crazy numbers. All right. So now I take all these hits. Let me eat them. Oops. Sorry, I need it. Okay. Here we go. So take all these things. There we go. Alright, so now what we're gonna do, we have our track. Now we're gonna sound it. Basically means we're gonna do this again when we add in the actual dialogue for and scenes and shots from the show. Um, but if I take this, I then adjust the level on the side, make it not as loud. Um, and then what we're doing this for is when we begin the hits and the booms and the washes, the last thing we want is it to overpower any of them. It's probably like a unison where you can feel they're both in the same sense. So that little shh, that's when the logo will come up in the studios. So then, if some some songs, especially one of the dudes what I love about their beats, is they put hits and risers in their tracks. So if you hear this, then you listen to something like this. similar and basically my entire folder trailer pack or one so I'll play some of these for you now so you can uh, hear so boom rises or washes more likely so this is what they put in their track Kind of like a you know a hello hanging fruit it's like a gift it's like oh cool great now i can put a, a, a wash or a mix in there that kind of syncs up with it it adds it more punch so let's find one that sounds near the same so if i listen to it again hmm. hasn't gonna be identical but the closer it is the better obviously you won't find one identical okay. Okay, let's close. No, two. I like that one. So bring in wash 06. We time it up. Put a marker. M, so remember where it is. Time it up with hours. Change the color so we can distinguish between the two when we're editing. The things get a bit more crazy because they will. Um, okay. 
and then we're going to time it properly. So riser starts, mine starts here, time it there, starts there. Now, volume, like I said, sync in the volume so they match. So this volume is minus 1.5, so it's going to be at least that one different lower. Minus minus 3.6, so it should sync better now. See that? But I don't like it, it's too fast. If I just slow wash, too fast, too fast, better. Bring in 03, instead of doing all that, just copy the attributes. Copy and paste. These are copy and pasting, but it copies all the effects on this. So now it has the volume minus three and all that kind of stuff. And it saves me two extra minutes, which time is like currency when it comes to editing. Especially when we're editing for trailer coming out tonight. That's what this thing is doing at 9 p.m. All right, so add time, make it different. Um, time it properly. Place it in. Hmm. Let me hear it first. So that's when the crescendo, so I'll time that with this crescendo. Alright, there we go. That's the crescendo. Alright, now. There we go. Lower it a bit more because it's very powerful. Close, 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 close. I think that's the way, yeah. Same thing, copy, paste attributes. Place in position, delete these two. Much better. Now just slow it. the little clip you hear so maybe that was she wasn't the one yeah. riser no and really i'm doing what you call being uh nitpicking all three of those are fine um but maybe it's just a bit of showing off I'm trying to get one i did not you know it's good Go on the other yeah th these things are pretty crazy um, so no, so, so. Yeah, I like that. So I have the graphic logo. Do that effect. So Maverick logo comes in and it exits. So I'm gonna have like this nice flower animation going on. So like flower animation comes in. zoom out and that's just from two rises wait because it's synced into the sound you think okay listen to the track I think it's part of the track and that was by mistake so editing all right and just make sure it syncs in the sound to make that a bit lower because these things are very very loud just make it with the track so Little things, little things. Okay, so now that's done. Now we have our main beat here. When I hit, I want a hit to go on that, like bang. So what we're gonna do, find a good beat. No. 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 All school work is a boom. So yeah. Kind of like a techno beat already, so that sounds a bit techno. So, you take that. So, then if I'm just tying the hit with their hit on the track, so and then on bang. So, this is how it sounds. This is just how the hit sounds. This is how just their track sounds. And this is how they sound together. Get that little This is without it. This is with it. 
really subtle, but you can hear it, and that that makes that's when you know you're doing it right. If it feel they can hear these bangs loud, then you haven't mixed the sound well with it. Um, so that's it. So first, we make this lower. Let's go for 1.6, like the previous clip, to make sure our hit is 1.6. So you already know. Okay, first opening scene. Magic Studios, comedic line. So, open scene, open scene. Open scene style, comedic line, pause, the comedic line, and then after the comedic line hits. Actually, you know what? I had the logo there, it's more powerful, but the boom. See how it times in well, like it zoom. Like the song and the beats and the hits are working in t as a team, they're not fighting each other. when the Atlanta protests were going on for a very good cause, but I won't get into that. One the Jules. How do I forget his name? How did I? Killer Mike, Killer Mike. When Killer Mike comes in now, this part. Every much too weak, never speak what I've seen, but my life changed with that sound. Yeah, okay. So I'll put another hit there. And I want to make it even shorter, so let's cut Killer Mike's part in quicker. So now I'm just listening in for beats, and when it's with violin, any instrument, any song, you can just hear the melody. The melody will tell you where to cut in to make it sink in. So you watching the trailer think that's how the song sounds, but really the song is a whole four minutes, but I just cut it in and cut it down, but I've cut it the beat into parts where the beat matches. Um, so you don't, you don't notice it, a split or a cut. So what I'm about to do is take something that's here, something that's all the way over here, and make it more quicker. But I'm going to make sure that the beat has to sink in so you don't notice any difference. So if I was to do it, do this, which is wrong. If I was to do this, what's the difference? You hear it's like the rhythm, it was I came in too late. But if I do it now... See that sinks in perfectly. So yeah, it's about bringing the beat at the same time. So then the lyric, because like I did with the first time, if I just drag it in randomly, the person knows, whoa, they, they cut there. Sounds messy in the rhythmic, but the way I did it. And also, I'll zoom in here, these, this, those are the wavelengths, that's the actual rhythm. You see how it's like straight, 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 I'll change the colors so you can spot it more clearly. So here is, I'll make it forest green. So this is the original track, this is what you mixed in, and see how it's like, it follows in, it follows in here, and then here, like it's almost like it all matches. So once the wavelengths match, then when you play it, it'll match too. So just for a simple way, as long as the current sounds, there's no like major jump, smooth, 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 carry on. So you know that the melody will be smooth as well when you go in. Versus if I just do it again, and I drag him in now. Perfect example. So see this? Melody is smooth, 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 smooth. Bring in killer mic. Let's change him to forest. You can see it again. You see here, here, I don't know, it's a bad example, but here, perfect example. So, so that, so yeah, oh wait, that clip, yeah, all right, so let's go back again. Yeah, it looks like normal, 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 normal falls off a clip. So the wavelengths aren't matching. You gotta make sure the rhythm all matches in together. DJs do this when they're mixing in, in clubs, it's all like, the beat will tell you when to come in, and you just gotta kinda, not to get arty, but kinda pay respect to that and, and make sure it comes in at the right time. When you do it properly for the final time. 
Also, when you do this a lot, you can hear in your ear, like, and boom, now bring him in when it will sync up perfectly. So, changing the first. I'll be much too weak. I'll be much too weak. Ah, still see that? Too early. sounds and the beats and the misses and bushes and bushes the booms basically Premiere Pro is saying like okay this is a lot going on let me uh render it all so I can make play it normally for you so now see so that little clip is basically Premiere Pro saying okay you put on loads of sounds bro now let me analyze this stuff so I can play it playback when you're editing it so I'm doing, doing playback I'll play this movie for you how it's going to be heard when I actually render it for done can get that sharper. Can get that sharper. Gap. That little gap. That's when we come in. There we go. Again, this is not how the song sounds like. It doesn't. The chorus is not coming that quick, but because I'm matching the beat well, it sounds like that. So this is actually how it sounds. Again, so I'll bring it in, extend it. This is how the actual song plays. So. minute long trade is what I want, a minute. So then I take the best parts of the beat I like, then mix them in. Same thing with Killer Mike I did earlier, make sure the beat and the rhythm all matches in. So say again, see it here, same pattern. Now this little ch ch you're hearing, that's the song. And if to make it easier for you, you could just do what I do with the intro here. Just match it up, so. So this is one of my hits. There we go. So I take that. Bang, right there. So took that. Pull out the sink. Make sure mine lines up properly. All right, so this is how it is without it, just a song. Uh, so just the songs like this. This is just a hit, what my hit sounds like. Now when I mix them um, both together, this is how they sound. So once again, this is the hit. This is the song. So mixed together should be... Make that a bit louder, take a really walk so you can hear it. All right, now. It's that little zoom. That's too loud. It's almost like a wave that like, zoom just swallows it. Gives a bit more punch, the little thing. So if you're watching this, or none the wiser that there's so much these other things added to the original track. You can listen to the beat and like, okay, boom, boom, boom. Meaning I can put other beats there and it will sound just as fine. Boom, boom. So I'm tune that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Whoops. So these little marks remind me, okay, boom, boom, boom. So when I drag the hits, I can drag them to those markers and know where they are. So. There we go. So I drag those here. Cool. 
Ryan soon, so I'm wrapping this up. All right. Then I'll show one little quick trick, then I'll do the rest off the camera because I gotta see some stuff for the academy. And also, I gotta call Ryan soon for work. All right. Now, <laughs> As fine as it is because they put their own beat there so it's like working in team with the beat you don't fight the song you just enhance it um so then i bring in another something like i like that one okay so bring that in So then drag it to my cursor, which I put, which is making highlights and bookmarks is your friend because it'll, it's reminding yourself where exactly the beat changes. So you can just slide it in like that. See that? So this is the song by itself without any of my hits or rises added onto it. This is it, just my, my hits and rises. So I just take these. He's like boom, doom, So now with everything in together. A bit lower. Make you a bit lower. And there we go. And now listen to the beat again. So I can go right here. Boom. Boom. And now, da 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 is going to be we dragging Kanye West waves. It sounds like this. Let me show sure you another song. So that little da da da, I want that. So, so I take that. And luckily, this doesn't always happen, but there's no beat behind it. But these, uh, you're about to hear? Air is much harder because there's a beat behind it. But this, I take this da da da, and now I have this. Copy it, paste it. Now it's this. And then I want to take one. That was just for dramatic effect. And then I drag this all back to my marker, which I put in the beat in the Modern Jewel song. And if my messed up rhythmic brain was correct and what would sound good. Then, okay, I lost it. Okay, now there it is. So, I drag this little Missy. And if I'm right with the BPM and how it should sound, this should sink in. All right, okay. so you see that. So, those are my three markers for my beats marker one, marker two, this little marker three. There's nothing here, and that is where little Miss Daddy Duck will go, and hopefully. If I predicted this correct, this will sink in just well. And know that all these little things on the beats and the markers, I've been doing this for seven years and once I didn't even know how to close the application, you know, so it's just, you know, a thousand hours of mastery and it's these little, usually you're going to need these markers to help you begin, but when you listen to a lot of beats and do a lot of editing, you'll naturally, you'll bring me from, oh yeah, that, that, you'll hear the rhythm and know where it comes in and out. Like all those music producers or edit music editors, they've been doing it for so long that their brain now you can just your rear can get sensitive to hearing the rhythm and where it's coming in. So, so now I drag in Dalila as I wrap this up, a minute left. Alright, where's the marker? You are here. So then for me, probably will line it up for me. Okay, cool. So too loud, mix it in, slow them down. That's really loud. Right? See that? And I put a smoother on it so it blends into the song a bit more. Constant power. So he, you hear him, but he's not too loud. So I play solo. So he zooms out. Just as soon as he comes in, he comes out. But he comes in very harsh, which I have to load this guy so much. 
I put at like a 9. Now, if I hear it. So basically, I'm gonna mute him. You just see this out track is now without him. Oh, this is it with him. Now I can loud as I want because I put that effect to make him basically say, that effect basically says be loud but not louder than the track above you. So I can loud him a bit more. Okay, we got four minutes to quickly wrap this up and then got like three minutes to call Ryan, but you know, Ryan's black, so you know it's black boy time, it won't matter. All right, so. I like it, but it, you can tell like it's a little thin. And once you understand the effects, if I take up the multi band compressor and I'll just show you what this does. When you hear something on the radio in a movie or film, what they've done is this. So if I take, um, actually, let me do the effect on the song, that'd be easy for you to hear. So hear the song. So when you watch a movie or film, they've done that effect, or walkie-talkie. So say like you want to hear so someone talking on walkie-talkie, you hear this. But this song is great, so we'll leave that as it is, just for the example. Taking my band compressor. I have it on this data, so now I want this to be more like a walkie-talkie sound. So if I play it, it's like this. For this song solo. Hear that? So now I can kind of loud him up a bit more. Well, he sounds like he's a part of the song and in the background that one of Jules did him where really it was me. So. Still too loud a bit. Smooth it in. Take off the composer. There we go. It wasn't extending out all the way. See that? So now I can light up a bit more. some in here in this beat so so I'm getting that too cross let's hear for the beat that was at see that's me on time right there right before this camera dies So loud box you can hear him. Alright, what well, iPhone in it? Okay. Alright, so if I cut his duck, so make that louder, because now the beat's going crazy, I can loud him up a bit more. So 0.1. So I'll cut him down a bit. Da, da, da. So that's my duck. Copy that. Paste, paste. So duck, duck. 
So first I'm moving out the way so I time it properly. Da, da. There. Just when the when one of Jules song goes da da as well. There we go. There we go. Bring you up to 8.7 as well. So I have you there, 8, 8, bring you up to an 8. My door's open, I think. Yeah, it is, okay. 8, 8. <laughs> here and so now I found a perfect mist of Dahida and what it makes it blend to the song so I'm bringing him here drag him in well don't do that okay drag him in and this is part one so five hours put the, the shots is the easiest part it's just getting me I like making the beat as sick as ever then when I do the shots just placing them in really so Place that in, so now. So this is our track all together right now, so right off this. I'm sorry, I need to move this forward so it doesn't take too long, for, just for example purposes. Render audio, which you always want to do, because Unless Premiere Pro start clipping it because it's like, bro, let me render all this so I can play it. Alright. Comedic joke. Joke with a punch around the joke and bang. Deals. After this, which I won't show, I'm gonna bring in. Where is she? Um, yeah, she's coming in next, but I'm not gonna show you that guy's that part. I guess you would have already seen this trailer, but now you've seen how some of it was made um, and just how much goes into it. So, peace. Hi, my name is Amy, and I'll be your waitress today. Is there anything I can get you to drink while you're looking at the menus? Honestly, I think you're overreacting. I just want to be good at this. I don't want to be seen as some fraud, you know? Uh-huh. Do you ever wonder why do sticks look like over-circumcised penises? I be much too weak to ever speak what I've seen, but my life changed with that sound. I don't see myself settling down with kids. I don't see joint accounts and mortgages. I just see me. Some of 
Hi, my name is Amy, and I'll be your waitress today. Is there anything I can get you to drink while you're looking at the menus? I've spent my entire life looking for more things to suggest to. But I took the hits and the punches. I stayed up at night listening. I covered your eyes, but who was covering mine? I'm auditioning for the part of Sarah. Yeah, hi. We'll just move a bit more to your left, mate. No, no, your your left. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that that's still right. 